Uh, let's get to the latest on Phil Jackson here first. For days, multiple media reports have suggested a deal for the Knicks to bring Jackson to New York to run basketball operations will be complete by the end of the week. But with the week nearing a close, it appears we're no closer to anything like an official announcement. That hasn't stopped anyone from speculating what kind of an impact Jackson would have on the embattled organization or who he might want to coach the team. Putting two and two together, many have suggested the Zen master might turn to his own former player and our own Steve Kerr, who has said publicly he would like to coach and knows Jackson's triangle offense. Earlier tonight, Kerr addressed the speculation on NBA TV. It's unfair. I mean, the, the job isn't even open. Um, I have a ton of respect for Mike Woodson, who I've gotten to know the last couple of years through broadcasting. I was even a teammate of his at one point in Cleveland years ago. Um, I've made it known that I've been interested in coaching, and everybody knows my relationship with Phil. So people are connecting the dots and, and speculating, but that's all it is at this point. And it's, it's flattering, but it's also a little bit embarrassing because of the the circumstances and so I'm I'd prefer not to go down that path. Now Mike Woodson is still the coach in New York. His team is one five in a row and Phil Jackson at least uh, officially has yet to be hired. So it's hey how about Dennis Rotman coaching? <laughs> BJ Armstrong. <laughs> well, he's been a diplomat. He oh, can coach too. Listen, just because you won championship with Michael Jordan don't mean you can coach. I like Steve a lot and he might be a good coach but we just can't be just telling people they're going to be coaches out the blue. <laughs> uh, we don't know that there's going to be an opening. We Harris that... Grant. <laughs> going to keep your... Luke Longley. Stacey King. Luke Stacey Long King. King. <laughs> they all know the triangle. Right? <laughs> we all know the triangle. <laughs> listen, listen, the, the triangle is a great offense when you got Michael Jordan and Scottie Pippen, Kobe <laughs> Bryant, Shaquille O'Neal. If you got the rest of these brothers, it's a square. <laughs> and it don't work. It don't work. Let's get that straight. Most offenses work with those players. Yes, most. They can run the pick and roll. They can walk it up and down the court. If you got great players. Listen, man, Mike Wilson is not the problem with the New York Knicks. The Knicks stink. And this, but Mike Wilson is not the problem. I think Mike Wilson has been totally disrespected throughout this entire process. I respect Steve Kerr. That's the one thing I say on television. We should never say somebody should get fired, or we should never discuss somebody's job opening when it's not open. But the Knicks stink, and it's going to be a long process. And Zen Master, listen, Zen Master going to have to go see Dr. Field after seeing that <laughs> team play a little bit. Well, here are some of the problems with the organization, in addition to the second biggest payroll in the NBA. They don't have a pick in this. They pay them. Harold did draft. They pay them guys. Yes, they're paying them a lot. Uh, they don't have one in 2016 either. You saw the, the contract statuses. They've got to answer this question about Carmelo Anthony. He has to answer it for them. Will they be able to keep him? Will they be able to build around him? Check, you know Phil well. What can he do as an executive that will turn this thing around? Does Phil Jackson know basketball? Absolutely yes. Does he know how to build a team? Absolutely yes. Does he know how to have conversation with players to raise their play to the next level to possibly get them to a championship? Yes, but does he know how to do those things without running a triangle offense? So, you know, all these. Or without you know, coaching the team. Yeah, so, you know, with all these speculations about other coaches coming in, I'm anxious to see what he can do if it's not in his, you know, with the triangle style offense. With the triangle, he's brilliant. I believe in him, but, you know, again, we'll see. Yeah, I think the one thing, let's say if it happens, right? The one thing that you look at is I don't think that there's positives and negatives. Now all of a sudden you say, wow, this is a championship pedigree inside of New York. So, free agents, everyone else. He's one of the greatest basketball minds that's ever touched the basketball or instant been around. Instant credibility. But instant credibility, without question. But the problem is, you know, if, if you're going to be a satellite president, because that gets around. NBA players talk very much in the locker room. If a guy comes and says, well, I haven't really talked to the guy. I've seen him in three weeks. It could be more detrimental than helpful. He, the difference, everyone's comparing him to what Pat Riley was. Pat Riley was a great basketball mind, and all of a sudden he's in the front office. The difference is Pat Riley's at every practice. Right. He's at every game. And, and Spolster has al already said that he goes upstairs to lean on him to get information from him. And that would be the most discouraging point if – Mike Woodson, because he's the coach, wouldn't have that ability to go up there and talk to Phil Jackson right after the game. Your worry is that Phil Jackson would have one foot in L.A. or somewhere else well, while trying to run the next. I'm not, I, don't, that is, I just think you can't do it. I, I think the, the credibility of why a free agent or someone would come there is because you can rub shoulders with this guy every day, right. and that would be the thing. Now, they do have Steve Mills there as it would probably serve as the, the, the run guy who can be his legs and be certain places, but the two together have to work. If you have one without the other, to me, I don't think it will work.
Craig Hodges. <laughs> Brad Sellers. He's still going Brad down the Paul, list. Anybody can coach who played for the Bulls. Listen, uh, the Knicks, listen, I agree with everything Shaq said, everything Kenny said. Bill Winnington. Did Bill Winnington can coach. What Luke Longley, I said him. You said What's it. the other big guy? Will Start Purdue. Rip, Will Purdue. Will Purdue can coach him too. Listen, the Knicks don't have a good team. Other than, I, I look at their roster, love Tyson Chandler. He's probably the only guy who could play in the triangle. The rest of the guys, they, they're not going to move without the ball. they all ball dominant. Tyson Chandler can play on any team and help it win. But they can't, they got to figure out those guys on that roster are going to be there for the next three or four years. Phil Jackson will change it, but it's, we're talking about a three-year process. Because you can't get rid of those players on that team making all that money. Carmelo, first of all, Carmelo's the guy holding all the cards. He's the guy holding all Absolutely. the cards. But those other guys on the team, they can't trade those guys. Nobody wants those guys. You want to name any more Bulls? I'm ran out of people. <laughs> You're all done. <laughs> No more? I can't name any more players. Randy Brown. Randy Brown. Oh, there you go. Yeah, good, good call. Brown.